Welcome back to this video series on learning.net score where we're doing C sharp basics. So right on my screen I have Visual Studio Code open. Uh, so there's been no project I've run on it so far. So if this is the first time you're running VS Code, it will look just like blank as this. And what you can do is actually open up your folder to get started right in the code. So what I've done on my end is that I have this folder where I'll be storing all my code. It's inside my C drive project classes. Just like this, you can create any folder you want on your system. So I'll just copy this folder address. And what I'll do, I'll click on open folder inside here in VS Code. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and paste that folder address I put in there and then I'll select the folder. So what that goes to do is that it opens up my folder as a workspace inside VS Code and then I can start writing my code. Now for me to get started writing my code, VS Code has an integrated terminal that lets you run uh, CLI commands right inside VS Code. If you do not like that, of course, you can go ahead and use your normal command line tool like terminal, bash, CMD, PowerShell, PowerShell, Core Windows Terminal, and all sorts, and you'll be fine. But uh, to make our work easier, I will use the terminal right here inside VS Code. So I'll go ahead and click on terminal and go to new terminal. So that is opened up for us. And then the default here is PowerShell. I can select my default shell if I if I want to switch to any other one. Normally, I actually price them PowerShell Pro, uh, so I'll just switch to that because it's sort of smoother, you know. So let me close this terminal and start another one. And then I am in PowerShell Core. So. So let's start it. All we need to do now is write our first Hello World program. And yeah, we'll be programmers from then on. So let us get started. So what I need to do is do .NET new. Let's first actually run this. If I type .NET new, that command lets us see the list of uh, programs you can write with .NET. And we'll be starting with the console application right here. So we type .NET new console, and then we put in our code. So we can see the list of programs in the right class libraries, WPF applications, web applications, test projects, solution files, web APIs, even writing front end applications plus our APIs as possible using the SDK. So what I'll go ahead to do is um, clear my screen and just type .NET new. So I'll use the console arguments. So I'll type .NET new console. And then what I would do is I will output this as an argument into a folder where I will call it hello world. So what this does for me is that it creates a folder called hello world and then puts my project inside there. So I'll go ahead and run that command. And then you can see the folder right over here. the hello world folder where my code is and if i expand it i'm able to see everything inside it so our program is actually done creating what I, what we do next is actually go ahead and run that program so it's just finishing up the final steps of dotnet restore and then if i actually just go ahead here and open up this code uh, i'll open the cs uh, program.cs file and this is the code that we actually run. So it generated a boilerplate for us that we'll use to start running. So what happens is, oh, VS Code is actually asking me to go ahead and install an extension such that it can give me IntelliSense. So it will help me write my code very much better and faster. Uh, but I will ignore this for now. Okay. But would it let me actually just go ahead and install it. Uh, for some reason that is not working, but I'll skip that. So if I go ahead now to do .NET run, so .NET run executes our program for us. So I'll do .NET run. Now, if I were to do .NET run here, there'll be a problem because it cannot find the project inside this folder. If I was to do this, I'll get an error that there's no existing project for me to run. As you can see here, there's no project for me to run. 
But what I can do is give it an argument. So actually go ahead and find that program. So I'll do .NET run. Give it an argument of program. So the project it's supposed to run. And then I'll put in hello world inside here. And then if you go ahead and actually run my code for me now. And then it's building. Because it's the first time this is running, it might take some time. So I'll just wait for that to complete. And then you can see Hello World updated for us right here. You see? Hello World right here, just like we have it inside here. So if I was to go ahead and actually do this and change this text to hello.net learners. If I was to do this and save it and run this command again, you will see that the output would have changed into hello.net learners from hello world that was there before. So I'll just wait for that to run now. And then you can see it right here. Compared to the previous one that says just hello world. And we can see that that happened by changing the input to our console right inside here. All right. So let's actually go ahead and analyze what this program looks like. So here we have the console. This is actually a class inside the system namespace. So console is a class that can output. So this right line is a command. Otherwise called a method that outputs hello.netlearner. So right line is a command in C sharp that lets the console. Now this is our console right here. Everything we have down here is our console. All this area is our console. And then it will write a line that contains the text inside those parentheses. And that is the fundamental code you can actually write. So that is the basic program hello world in c sharp uh so i'll see you in the next video